Team Jefferson, a 2005 DARPA Grand Challenge semifinalist with their vehicle Tommy, is back with their robotic progeny Tommy Jr. Tommy Jr. is based on a stock Scion XB chassis and is licensed and registered to drive in the state of Virginia. For actuation, a servo is coupled to the steering column, a linear actuator is coupled to the brake, another linear actuator is coupled to the shifter column, and an aftermarket cruise control system is added for throttle control. Positioning is achieved using CSI Wireless's DGPS MAX system with OmniStar differential GPS corrections. Orientation and inertial information is provided by CSI Wireless's Vector Sensor Pro unit, which also provides beacon based GPS backup. Currently, four SICK LMS units provide forward, aft, and side sensing capabilities for obstacle detection. The team has not integrated our previously proposed sonar proximity sensors. An Eaton Vorad radar unit is also added to the front of the vehicle for long distance obstacle warnings and detection. Replacing our previously proposed Digiclops camera, a point gray Bumblebee 2 stereo vision camera is placed on the roof of the vehicle for lane and obstacle detection. Three equipment shelves house the vehicle's processing capability and e-stop circuitry. Low level feedback control runs on two microcontrollers. A single main processor implements the vehicle's navigation, obstacle detection, avoidance, and route planning. A second processor implements the vehicle's stereo vision based lane detection and obstacle detection. The microcontrollers and standard processors run with Perone Robotics Max Micro, Standard, and Real Time Robotics Engine profiles. The vehicle is equipped with a separate independent wireless e stop system. The e stop system is designed to provide the same interface to the vehicle as the government supplied e stop system and hence will make integration with such a system seamless. A wireless transmitter is equipped with disable, enable, and run pause switches. A wireless receiver system receives such signals and implements remote disable enable and remote run pause controls for the vehicle. Audible and visible warning devices are activated when the vehicle enters run mode. Four external e-stop buttons are easily accessible for disabling the vehicle. Upon e-stop disable, the vehicle must be manually relatched while in enable mode. Our e-stop test and autonomous run was filmed with permission at the Insurance Institute for Highway Safety in Rutgersville, Virginia. After acceleration to approximately 10 miles per hour, a pause signal causes the vehicle to perform a controlled run. stop. The vehicle resumes travel after 5 seconds when a run signal is issued. After disable. acceleration to approximately 10 miles per hour, a disable signal causes the vehicle to perform a controlled stop with ignition cutoff and e-brake applied. The two-lane closed-loop course laid out for our autonomous run was 240 meters in total length with lane widths of 4.5 meters. The course shape was an approximate 40 meter by 80 meter rectangle. Bright orange markers were used to mark lane boundaries on the course. Two side-by-side -side markers indicated the vehicle start location and two side-by-side -side markers also indicated the vehicle stop location. A parked car used as the obstacle vehicle was placed in the way on the lane after the first turn. Okay, run. For the autonomous run, Tommy Jr. was filmed from a control vehicle, placed into run mode, and began navigating the course after a required five second pause. The vehicle progresses smoothly during straight sections of the course and controls its speed by slowing during sharp turns. The vehicle detects the obstacle vehicle at a safe distance and comes to a complete stop. The vehicle pulls completely into the adjacent passing lane and maintains a safe distance from the obstacle during the passing maneuver. The vehicle returns safely to its travel lane a safe distance from the obstacle and continues without leaving the travel lane for the remainder of the course. The vehicle navigated all course waypoints autonomously with no rider on board. The vehicle stayed within its travel lanes with wheels remaining completely within marked boundaries at all times while traversing the course. The vehicle traversed the course at an average speed of 6.5 miles per hour which includes time taken to stop while passing the obstacle vehicle. The vehicle reached a peak speed of approximately 13 miles an hour on the back stretch of the course. Tommy Jr. completes his run and demonstrates his readiness and willingness to advance to the DARPA Urban Challenge.